পেন পাইবা মুকুল সংমা হারং কাট কি খাটে গুড কি এম এল এ কংগ্রেস বানপন সাকা অল ইন্ডিয়া ত্রাইনামল কংগ্রেস মানি আরফসান তারিখ নাইবিং আর্জার আরফুয়ে হাপাইন ওয়ার্ড হটেল হাবা কারা না কে গাছি উদ্ত মুকুল সামা ওল অং বাকা নিয়ে গচিং পেয়েসো কি খাট আর মুট কি এম এল এ কংগ্রেস সাকা অল ইন্ডিয়া ত্রাইনামল কংগ্রেস কলং বাকি বানাব না কমতা কাভা কমেট কি পাইবা বাদ জেলা হি বারো কবে and i must at the outset thank all of you for having the patience for not uh, really running after us last night because we all mutually agreed that uh, we should be fair to all our friends from media fraternity and that's why we fixed this time one of them so that we can speak to all of you together at the same time i must start by saying uh, that uh, today is a, a very momentous occasion for the state of nepal we are setting a new trend for the future of the state and future of the region future of the nation with the utmost sense of humility but complete sense of responsibility and commitment towards fulfilling our responsibility in serving the people serving the state and serving the nation we have taken a conscious decision to march with one of the political parties uh, which all of you know the all india trinamool congress now this is the culmination of our exhaustive due diligence analysis and trying to understand as to how best we can respond to our call of duty towards uh, our people and our state and our nation as a whole you have seen in the past in the preceding years how we have collectively while we were uh, part of the government with regional parties we led the government as indian national congress subsequently there was for the first time in 2013 when in the history of state of meghalaya there was a government led by congress without any regional parties as coalition party that was a trend setter and that was of course because the people have had the kind of trust and confidence on the whole team consequent upon the collective responsibility that we have demonstrated with complete sense of commitment honesty and probity in public life even in 2018 you have seen on the run up for election there has been lots of flip flop on the run up for election we were obviously confident of forming government but somehow we could not form government we did end up being the single largest party in 2018 general election but for the reasons known to all of us we could not form the government again afterwards post election there has been aggressive activity towards pushing our members from the group that we had we had 21 subsequently because of other reasons we slowly got reduced and we are now 17 we were 17 but even as this uh, group of 17 we have collectively demonstrated our commitment to fulfill our purpose in as far as our public life is concerned today as we look at the prevailing political scenario across the nation and in our state in particular we can uh, explain uh, as to how this decision which is a very conscious decision that we have taken have culminated it is with a complete sense towards the service that is uh, required to be provided by us as the elected representatives the commitment towards the people the commitment towards the state for the larger good of the people and larger good of the state have superseded everything else there is no other consideration which has Uh, brought us to this ultimate decision that we have consciously taken collectively today i am uh, that uh, the country must really understand the prevailing political scenario we have looked at the available space that is available before us to play the role of the opposition and also to play the role of an effective opposition to ultimately Uh, seek the mandate of the people to have the hand of affairs of governance in our hand 
because we feel that we have a team in as far as the state of Meghalaya is concerned who have demonstrated efficiency, commitment, and therefore have been able to uh, get the kind of trust and confidence from the people. Now, this trust and confidence of the people must be honored, and that's the reason why we thought that we must look at an effective, available space which can provide us the right kind of platform to fulfill that objective. So we did exhaustive study. We did explore the options available. We did try to explore the option within the party itself as to whether as a one of the, not one of the, whether as the oldest party in the country, the grand old party, Indian National Congress, whether as Indian National Congress, we can really fulfill our responsibility and fulfill our purpose in as far as serving the state, serving the nation is concerned. But I am sorry to say that in spite of all our efforts and endeavor, it seems to be elusive. And there's a reason for us to believe that we are failing in our duty, in our responsibility towards the people and towards the nation, in as far as our role as opposition is concerned. In our democracy, there has to be an equilibrium. While we are in opposition, we must play the role of opposition effectively so that we can take head on with the party in power in the event of any situation where we feel that the concerns of the people are not being addressed, the interests of the people are being compromised, the sustainability of our democracies are under threat. There is a reason for the political party in opposition to ensure that space available for the opposition is effectively optimally utilized. And this is something which is wanting in as far as in Indian national policy is concerned. We have tried our best to prevail upon the leadership. You have seen how many times we have met our trips. We keep on making trips after trips to Delhi. It should have been the other way around. But in spite of that, we have failed to prevail upon the leadership. And today, therefore, we look at available uh, options. And we did try to reach out to many people, many friends, and ultimately, also came across some, uh, we had to look at, okay, can we have the proper analysis of the whole situation to understand the pulse of the people within the state of Meghalaya, in the northeastern region, and across the nation. The pulse of the people today say that, yes, there's a need for a strong pan-India alternative as a political party. And this is based on the perception that the Indian National Congress is failing to really respond to its call of duty as a main opposition party in the country. And therefore, our exercise to find a viable pan-India option to take care of the state, to take care of the region of the Northeast and to take care of the whole nation and the interests of the nation ultimately culminated into this decision. <coughs> Fortunately, I came across also with many uh, senior political party leaders from different parties, including my uh, uh, association with many senior leaders in the Indian National Congress helped me to understand the ground reality and exactly what is happening in Indian National Congress. Therefore, uh, we had to look at available friends, strategies. I must also be very frank. In search of these, I also end up meeting my friend Prasant Kishorti, one of the strategists, whom we all know, who can make a difference, and who can be a friend as well. I'm very happy to disclose that when we interacted, I felt that we shared the same objective aim, where the interests of the people, interests of the state, and interests of the nation superseded everything else and how, as people who are in public life, can actually fully, optimally utilize our potentialities in serving the people. Today, I must tell you that in my preceding years, we have not been, full, we have not been able to fully or optimally utilize our potentialities in serving the state and serving the people. That may be very frank and true. 